Hey everyone, this is Delta. Welcome to another Minecraft video. This video is on the Minecraft pre-release 1.25 or 1.2.5, I should say. Um, and this is a pre-release, like I said, it's not a snapshot, it's not an update, it's a pre-release and they haven't had one of these for a while. Um, reason being is because um, this is an update specifically for uh, uh, fixing bugs within the last 1.24 or 1.2.4, which I said before, I said in the previous video that the update itself was really, really buggy and that we'll probably see an update soon um, to fix it. And here we have it, the update. Um, and they're delaying it, the actual uh, official update and um, having this pre-list now. So modding API, or so modding communities and people who run servers and whatnot can adjust this, the, the software or adjust the coding in order to fix for the new update. So it, it, on, on day launch, the update can um, have all these mods and everything working for it. So. Um, this update is mainly about uh, fixing the bugs in the last video. There was a, there was a, there was a whole bunch with chat, uh, chat, chat would crash, there was terrain generation ones, there was a whole bunch, bunch with the cats and ocelots. There's a whole bunch of them and really um, they fixed all those and uh, got them out of the way. But they did actually add some new things to Minecraft which is pretty cool. They added a, uh, a feature which you can use uh, just selecting blocks in creative mode. So it's only for creative mode. And it uses the pick block button. Um, for me, it's mouse middle. It's button three, which is my middle mouse button, the little scroll wheel clicking in. And normally, um, in creative mode, to find a block, you have to go through a list and find it and place it in your inventory and use it. However, if you click in on a middle mouse button, it'll actually, whilst look, while looking at a block, it'll actually go to the block in your inventory. Now, I do know some bugs with it. Um, stone tends not to uh, pick up smooth stone or normal stone. Um, which is something that's funny. Like if you if you have smooth stone in your hand and you click on this thing, it should default to stone. But there's some bugs in it. If you don't have the item in the inventory, it'll automatically put it in for you, which is really really good and actually helps you so much when uh, uh, when uh, building stuff. So you can have it all ready and to go, and you can just place it down like that. And it's really really cool. So it's a really really good um, update, and I would love to see this um, actual come in when the update comes out because I'll be using this a fair bit in creative mode. Um, it does help you out in general. So they also added some uh, shift clicking abilities within the furnaces now. Apparently you can uh, shift click in and, out, in and out items, which is really cool and helps speed up the process. Other than that, a whole bunch wasn't really added. It was mainly fi bug fixes. There's a, a whole thread on the uh, the Minecraft wiki and also Mojang.com. You can check that out and it'll have uh, all the information you need. Um, other than that, that's pretty much the update entirely. Um, However, there is some news I want to talk about from Mojang. Mojang um, has recently teamed up with um, some members from Bucket. So Bucket is the uh, it's a kind of the server side community that creates a server uh, server setup. So it's a more like server software that you can run on, on with a wrapper around your server and allows you to install mods and plugins and do stuff like that, which is really cool and it's really powerful. So that's why Mojang kind of teamed up with them so they could um, so they could actually create. Uh, or just implement their software within official Minecraft. So we might be actually seeing soon the modding API for Minecraft. They talked about it on their recent post on the website saying how they will have an open design plan for the modding API, allowing the community to uh, to input in input. So the modding API, API will actually give us a proper and original way, a vanilla way to install mods properly into Minecraft without having to drop them in, say, your jar files and muck around with it. It'd be a simple way of installing mods, similar to a texture pack setup, but maybe a bit differently. And uh, it'd be really cool to see that actually happen, because, face, let's face it, um, mods in Minecraft make the game. The reason why Minecraft's lasting so long is because of the mods within it, so that's pretty cool. And so Asa talked about, Mojang talked about um, them hiring or having acquiring a bigger team over more time zones to, to uh, work on jobs, so this will mean that uh, updates for Minecraft will be coming hopefully more frequently and with much more content because more people will be working on it on a longer time scale, so that's pretty cool. That's about it for the news in terms of uh, Mojang and Minecraft. Um, so we'll, I'll keep on covering these updates um, and some the news that we get from Jeb as well and Mojang. So um, besides that, that's the entire video here, so we'll catch you guys later the next video. And uh, yeah, so Delta Rat for now. See ya. Bye.